said what he had to say, and then he would still walk. It's a good thing she's not throwing him under the bus. Rachel, you set this for us. Hello, fellow couch potatoes. Welcome to my channel. Let's get to today's video. We kicked off episode 6 with Al and Sam who are still on their honeymoon. Al is trying to get over the fact that Sam threw what I kiss someone she barely knows. Al then plans a romantic dinner prepared earlier by his mom where Sam tells him she's scared of the cool boy energy which will surface if she starts liking him. I get nervous that if I like tell you I like am getting feelings for you and you feel like super secure in that like you'll just get this like you know cool boy energy oh. and be like oh well now I know she's just there and I can be mean to her and I don't have to try hard he then promises to tone it down I wouldn't do that to you I really wouldn't kick you to the curb I know I can seem a bit immature and sometimes I do take things too far yeah I'm just, it's just who I am. The rest of the crew is heading back to Sydney for the dinner party. Anthony's riding solo after Celine mocked him for being vulnerable. Preparing for the dinner party, Mitch tells Ella that she's going to tell the guys she jumped him on the first night. I'm going to tell all the boys you jumped me the first night. You cuffed me to the bed and I just couldn't say no. I'm fine with you saying that. <laughs> Not exactly necessary, but let's move along. Good old Tamara from episode one resurfaces as Tamara tells Brent that she's looking forward to seeing Holly. Why you ask? Tell them Tamar. I'm really looking forward to seeing Holly. She was like really desperate. Andrew tells Holly she looks really pretty, which basically means nothing given we all know how he really feels. You look really pretty. Thank you. Holly tells him she wants to share the honesty box situation with the girls for some perspective. Girl, let me give you some perspective. He did wrong, Holly. He did wrong. Enough perspective? Good. I would like to share with the other girls where we're at um, yep. in, in terms of our relationship, in terms of intimacy. Life's full of tough choices, in it? People start rolling into the dinner party, including Brent and Tamara. Tamara asks how Holly and Andrew went with the honesty box. Then Holly tells the room what happened in front of Andrew. Someone find a hole for Andrew. Dominica's reactions say it all. Celine tells a fairy tale. She basically tells the girls Andrew stormed off because she was honest about not feeling a spark. I said, oh, I don't feel this spark. Oh, yes. Okay, there you go. That's you cut his ego. Today. You cut his ego. Anyway, he just said he's going back to Sydney. Okay. Sam and Al and more couples arrive. Celine continues to say she's not going to throw Anthony under the bus, but continues to throw Anthony under the bus. She hasn't been, you know, gathering the men around no. to tell them how she's... It's about the, the girls giving her validation. She doesn't know when he will arrive, so she needs everyone to blindly hate him before then. After Celine had gone on and on and on about Anthony, Ella suggests they wait until Anthony arrives before ruining his life. Wait, let's just wait until he gets okay, here and then I don't see how he Oh, finally. Yes. Thank you, Ella. Thank Good you. girl. Anthony walks in and unfortunately, some of the wives think he's a douche. So Al decides to break the ice by drinking from a shoe. Now that's just disgusting. Well, it kind of broke the ice. The tension's yeah, did, relaxing a bit. Did. Brent is definitely more disgusted than I am. He is so disgusted, he is freaking out. I hate dirty or unlooked after feet. So the whole soggy feet thing after the, after the shoe, and that's what freaks me out the most. The wet sock, wet shoe, and how he's walking around like nothing's going on. It's the wet shoe thing that's, yeah. Yeah, I can't think that's a, that's a great feeling. Ella and Mitch have their first argument about who's the hottest couple at the dinner party. Us. We are the hottest couple out there tonight. For sure. 
All I want to do is kiss him. I was trying to, I was going to pick another couple. I didn't even think that what? one of the answers what? could be us. Of course it's us. They say that Brent's definitely not getting any clearly wow skip. Dominica reveals that people know Anthony left Celine during the honeymoon and Anthony refuses to tell his side of the story to a room full of strangers who have already made up their mind about him. Wow. Obviously, Selena had told everybody her side of the story already threw me off guard. I wasn't expecting that. I thought she would be a little bit more respectful to the situation because I don't want to sit there and sort of have a he said, she said argument in front of everybody. But that doesn't stop Dominica from interrogating him further. The men and the women separate to opposite sides of the table. So can we just talk about the fact that this is like a, like a year six school disco? Oh my God! <laughs> You know the girls go one side and the boys went that. We just we just school discoed the whole situation. I told you I wasn't sitting with you all night. I have too much catching up to do. Celine continues to tell some more lies about Anthony. You know when they say count your blessings? Someone misconstrued that saying altogether. Al gave Sam a non-consensual kiss on the cheek after being egged on by the guys and Holly thinks Sam's lucky to have a husband she can mold into whomever she wants. Uh... I don't know how to describe it. But I think that Sam needs to realize that's a pot of gold because she can mold him and he's here saying I want to be molded. Sam tolerates her husband's behavior. Ella and Olivia compare lovemaking stories. Ella immediately realizes her and Mitch are no longer taking the lead as the strongest couple. It's just been like red hot ever since. Really? Yeah. Red hot. Red hot. Yeah. Is the um is the is the is the sex really good? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Olivia and Jackson, it's like really, really good. I thought that Mitch and I were top of the situation. But I reckon they're probably taking the lead. Starts to feel sad about the love he is surrounded by. These kissing, hand holding, neck grabbing, and shoulder sniffing all around him. And so, it seems like Anthony and Celine are the only ones not getting along or trying to. Anthony then decides to take her for a chat. He is so nice to her, given how mean she's been to him. He then apologizes for leaving her dry and proposes they try and move past the debacle. What do we need to do right now to get through this? Right now, I'm trying to be understanding. But you left. Celine refuses to take accountability, continues to demand an apology, and I feel sorry for Anthony because tomorrow night, the couples have to move in together. What do you think about the Celine antics? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Until next time, see you soon. Hey, Couch Potato, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.